Well, today, guys, we're in Monroe, Washington, and we are here at Speedway RV Center. We're going to go look at some RVs today. We have three specific models in mind for you guys, and you're going to want to stick around to see if we trade in the momentum and drive off with one, or if we leave and go back home to the momentum. Also, stay tuned for an update on our three months on the weight loss program. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. Well, here we are at model number one. This is a truck camper or a slide-in camper, as some of you call it. This is a host brand. We've got three of them today here at uh, Speedway RV. We're going to show you around. This one is the uh, Cascade model. Let's go take a look at it starting over here. We'll come back to the back door in a minute. All right, starting over here, this is the non-camping side. Right here is a compartment down below. And this one has um, your generator in it. Uh, they are a propane generator. This one also has your outside shower and a quick connect here, as well as your jack on off switch. This is probably gonna be for your coax cable, and it is, and a nice plug-in for uh, some regular shore power there. So that's pretty cool. And also, you'll notice a slide out Okay, these things have come a long ways. If you haven't looked at truck campers in a while, um, they, ha they can have multiple slides, just like regular um, tow behinds or class A's and C's and things like that nowadays. Also on this non-camping side, we have our water heater here. Um, a little storage. This is for your black dump. Uh, we don't have the keys, so we can't get in there and show it to you, but I'm sure it's just a normal blade valve. And then this here is your furnace. This has a suburban furnace in it on this side. Let's continue around to the front and see what we got up here. It does have these uh, swing away jacks here. Um, so they do come all the way out like this. So you can fit your dually in here. So that's a plus. And here is your seven way pin connector. It just slides right back in that hole there and is uh, out of the way once you're done uh, transporting it. We also have uh, some storage here. It is also locked, unfortunately, but from here there is very, very little space. Uh, you do see your uh, water tank in here. I think it's your fresh water tank that you can see right under this uh, storage door. Um, so that's pretty much all you're gonna see in there anyway is your uh, tank. Over here you have the gravity water fill. That's where you're gonna fill your fresh tank right through there and that one is also locked. And now let's go ahead and look down the camping side here. We have a speaker. I'm assuming there's another one on the other side. And look here guys, this is a second slide. So opposing slides on this, one on the non-camping side, one on the camping side. Right here is where your refrigerator is gonna be. We'll see that when we get inside. And then this says LPG. So I'm assuming this is going to be where you will find your propane tanks. Two 30 pound cylinders side by side. That's really nice. Normally in these truck campers, they're, they're like this. They're back, back to back like that. So you have to slide them in. And you can see they're kind of high. Um, and I and this one's off a vehicle, so I imagine it would even be higher on a vehicle. So having them side by side like this is a big plus. Uh, good job with that, host. And here is your other speaker here, like we were talking about, and a couple of vents cut into this side also. <clears throat> Down under here, you have uh, a battery. I, I believe this is going to be your battery door. It is locked. And here is a sewer hose connection. I don't know for sure, but it looks like that's probably big enough for the real sewer hose. These things used to be so small around that you couldn't fit the ends of your sewer hose in there. I would have to try it, but it looks like uh, they're coming around to being actually usable for what they're there for. 
And now we're on the back side here. Uh, we do have uh, nice LED lighting uh, on this thing. And look at the size of the ladder here, guys. It's not very tall, so you're or very, it doesn't go all the way down to the ground, I guess I should say. So you're gonna have to have a ladder to get up to it. Or a technique I saw was somebody actually used this, came up to here, and then got up on that. But I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I might make for a viral video, but I might break something also. I'm a little too old for that nowadays, guys. But check this out. This is something that Host does, and I really, really like this feature. First of all, this is a nice big storage bay. And if you were to look in there, you would see all of your plumbing and uh, things like that. Um, if it has a, a walled off area in the back there, that normally means it has the solar package so you would have a little bit smaller of a slide in than this but this one is very cool it does they all come with these moride trays and this thing comes all the way out to here guys they they call this the the coffin area or whatever the case is but it's really cool that it comes standard with the tray it's also 30 amp it has 30 amp service and that's there's your cord there <clears throat> slides in locks in place it is the standard moride tray so that is very very nice and very cool the slam latch door uh, and here is where you get your shore power from so you plug your 30 amp in there and then plug it in um, to the shore power and you're good to go all right my turn now y'all come on inside and see the interior of this cascade we're gonna start right here in the kitchen. This little area is the kitchen area, so you have a nice deep sink. It's a single farm style house, farmhouse style sink, faucet, adjustable hose, and cabinetry above the sink. Lots of room in there. And then on the right here, you have a standard size, maybe a little bit smaller microwave oven. It is a convection microwave and a grill, y'all. And below that is a three burner stove and more storage here. I think, oh, that is a real drawer. And then a big drawer here. It does have the push button lock so that it can stay closed on travel day. You do have a sink cover here to put here for extra counter space, cutting board, whatever and they store nicely in here and even more storage below you can put your trash can or whatever down there and this is the switch for your water heater right here now on the right side we have plenty of cabinetry here look at all this storage space inside of a truck camper who would have thought all these shelves plenty of room for those groceries and even more and then go back to this side we're going to show you the refrigerator this is a, one of the standard camper size refrigerators not as big as our momentum but this is a, tr is a truck camper you do have freezer space and plenty of room in this refrigerator nice uh, door storage there's even a drawer down below now walk with me to the living room okay we are here you can see that there is some nice theater style seating two seats here you do have two cup holders in the middle and a storage spot so you do not lose that remote control these do recline as well so this is your comfortable seating area and then on over here is the dining room you have the little dinette um, I do not think that there is storage below but this table does pull out now over to your entertainment section right above here in this cabinet you're gonna have your um, solar remote and some lighting this will be the fuse box and your generator on off and this is your monitor for your tanks you do have a TV here and it can pull out and swivel um, if you're sitting at the dinette so you can turn it that way and you have your sound system here 
and a fireplace. We absolutely love our fireplace. We would use that for sure. <laughs> Now we're in the, sh the bathroom. You can see the toilet here. You can see it is up on this step so that, you know, if you're short like me, you have to um, hang your legs down. But there is this little step for your feet to get comfortable. Right next to that, you have your deep sink and plenty of room in this storage cabinet. There is also a door behind me to close off from the main living area with a towel rack. Isn't that nice? They provided a towel rack and you do have a window here as well. So you have plenty to look at while you're sitting. And now I'm in the shower. You can see there's plenty of room in here. I am 5'4 and look at all that room. I can touch the skylight, but I have plenty of room. This is a nice handheld shower handle and your control knobs here. And look at this y'all sliding door for your shower door one more thing about this unit in the whole rv it is equipped with these shades this is just a privacy shade and here is your blackout sh shade so you can block out the sun and now we're up in the bed area guys this uh, mattress looks to be probably a queen size but as you can see there's about a foot and a half uh, on either side of the bed but with these boxes here where the wardrobes are you couldn't fit a whole mattress or a bigger sized mattress uh, width wise anyway up here unfortunately um, so with the with the wardrobes here they do they are mirrored uh, here which I don't know how you'd use that very well but um, whatever maybe from over where you guys are um, so let's open this and see it is pretty deep it does go all the way down to there as you can see and there is a small um, hanging bar there so you know all in all that's a, a pretty good space there we have some lights up here um, and they are they're pretty mobile so that's nice we're not plugged into any power right now so we can't show you how bright they are there is a uh, power plug here and two USBs and the same exact thing on the other side. Um, the power, two USBs and the same wardrobe. Um, this bed, uh, as you can tell, is brand new. It doesn't feel as um, useless as most, most RV mattresses, but I haven't been on it very long either. So don't quote me saying this is the only good RV mattress around. Another thing I want to show you guys is this. This is really cool about Host. They have this big skylight up above. Right now, I have it um, shut for like nighttime mode. You can't, um, it, it will block the sun coming in. But, uh, so if we open it up, now you see just how much light that uh, it brings in. And this thing, you can actually open and it will open all the way and make for a really nice breeze. I literally, when I opened that, the temperature in here got several degrees cooler. We finally found a hot day here in Washington to do this, guys. So I'm already sweaty. We need to get one plugged in so we can run the AC. But this thing right here is awesome. And you can also get to the roof from here. All you'd have to do is stand up right here and climb right out on your roof. So not only does it have the blackout up here on the uh, skylight, it also has this side. So if you want to just roll that one over, that's your screen. So now, you know, no bugs can get in or whatever the case. So this is a really cool feature. Well, that's the walkthrough of the Cascade. And what did you think? I really like this one. These two opposing slides make it look really big in here. Uh, as you can see, the um, the things have kickouts, so very comfortable. I'm looking right at the TV. Um, plenty of room. I don't have an issue with this one at all. That dinette would give me plenty of room to put my sewing uh, machine and work on some projects, but I have another one in mind. Let me say first, the uh, price here currently on this Host Cascade 2023 model mm -hmm. is $94,900, and it is two slides, two opposing slides. Let's go see something different. And now we're at the big boy. This is the biggest one they make in the host lineup. 
This one's called the Mammoth, guys. We're only going to go over the differences on the outside, so it'll be real quick uh, running around the outside of this thing. First thing you'll notice is there is a third slide on this one. This is a, the slide out that comes right out the back. You'll see when we get inside, the couch is in this slide. Down here is another difference. They've changed the location of the LP tanks. They're still two, two 30 pounders, but they are front to back, like I mentioned on the last one, and in a different spot. This one also has a uh, solar package. So this, remember the coffin we showed you on the last one? This one is actually about half as long. You'll see that bulkhead that says no storage beyond this point there. That's because your batteries and your inverter are behind this. I look back there, there are two batteries and a 3000 watt inverter. There are four panels on the roof of this model. So you do lose quite a bit of storage here, but you gain all of the solar package that's uh, included. Also with this one, Flame King RV grill right there, guys. So you get a grill with this one as well. And then over here is something that the other one didn't even have at all. And this is just a little bit more storage. So that's kind of uh, cool as well. Let's move on to the non-camping side. Now we're here on the non-camping side. We're going to start under this slide. Same exact opening we had on the other one for the generator and um, the outside shower and all. Here is your 30 amp um, inlet and then your sewer hose is on the side of this one. So uh, it's exactly the same as the other one, just in a different location. Here is your Suburban uh, furnace and here is your black tank uh, valve here. So the other one, we didn't get a chance to see this one, but like I, like I thought it was, it's just a blade valve and your outlet there for your black tank. Right here, just like the other ones, a black tank flush. And now let's move around to the front side. It has the same jacks, the uh, swing out type jacks, so you can get your dually in here as the other one. Same, uh, same location and place for your seven pin connector. But we actually have access to this uh, storage uh, up here in the front that we didn't before. So you can see your fresh water tank here is only an inch and a half from the door opening. So you have a little bit of room in there and there's a little, little bit of room over here that you could fit something if you had to, but you don't have a lot of room to get stuff in there. This is your cord uh, that hooks up to, this is your seven pin cord that hooks to your truck. It just comes out of a hole right there and stores in there. So that's what the front storage on the host looks like. Not much storage there, but at least you have easy access to your um, fresh water tank. Now let's go ahead and keep moving around here. Here's your gravity fill, just like the last one. And now let's go ahead and go over to the camping side. So on this side, you have your third slide uh, here. And this one has something that the other didn't. This is a Truma uh, AquaGo here. A Truma system that's uh, on demand uh, hot water. So you can get in the shower and just stay in the shower all day. Once it heats up, you're there. It also has the two uh, outdoor speakers, just like the other one had. All right, now let me open the door to this thing and show you something we didn't get a chance to show you on the last one, guys. When you get to your campsite, with the, the way the slides are on this, they're all gonna be in, obviously, and you cannot get up your stairs into your RV. So how do we fix that? Right here, what they do is they put all the controls for your slides. So you can open, especially the, on this uh, Mammoth model, this back one needs to be open so you can get in at all. So you'll go ahead and open your slides from right here and it allows you access inside your RV for the stay. Y'all come on inside and I'll show you the interior of this host mammoth camper. Watch your step. All right, we're gonna start right here in the kitchen, which is on your right as soon as you enter the door. It is pretty much all the same appliances. I think that this sink is a little bit bigger than the Cascade. You do have storage above. Same microwave combination. You have your three burner stove, storage here. 
and all of these also come with these safety locks on the doors and cabinets nice deep storage there and speaking of storage come this way <laughs> well there's a refrigerator first it's different than the other one but you can see freezer space and lots of room in your refrigerator but notice here on this side that you have to be careful because there is a handle here you don't want to bang that into it um, and damage or scratch it up at all but they are pretty heavy duty here is a big storage closet you could even add a hanging bar in there if you wanted to for more hanging space and two drawers below on this side plenty of storage and even more in here you do have the adjustable uh, mount so that you can change the position of your shelves and same in here and one thing I love about the Mammoth and the next one we're going to show you is both sides have access to the bedroom so we're going to go and show you the living room and then we'll show you the bedroom another great feature about this kitchen you can see that there's limited counter space here but look there's more extra counter prep space right here for you now host industries does offer several different layouts so you'd have to check out on their website you can have this to where it is a kick out and um, this one that we're at does not have the kick out but it does have storage below so if you want a place to rest your feet you're gonna have to have an ottoman but it also does have the same blinds and storage up here and then let's move over to the dining room <laughs> you do have this nice big picture window here your dinette this is the telescoping type table now notice above this is different than the cascade i love this feature this actually will make into a bunk bed um, it is powered so you do have to have the power on to operate it um, but this does come down and it has a, a cargo net for your storage so that you can store things up here or use it as a small bunk bed now on the entertainment portion you do have the same controls as the other one and your tv that does pull out and swivel here are some charging connections here for charging your electronics and the same fireplace notice up above we didn't talk about it before but it does have this bel air air conditioning and then right over here at the top there is a powered vent fan and uh, so let's go on in to the bathroom speaking of powered vent fan there is another one above me here and come on in and we'll show you how this door operates in here now here in the bathroom you can see that there is a privacy door so you just slide this over here it curves around and there is plenty of privacy and so you can do your business now here is the toilet it is up on the pedal still before so you can see I'd have to actually climb up but there is a shelf for your feet here's your sink same as before same nice big medicine cabinets now here they put your towel rack on this side of the wall and more storage down below and they've even mounted your toilet paper holder for you <laughs> now let's get in the shower it does have the same amount of room in the shower i can reach the skylight handheld you do have compartments for your soap and stuff and that's the tour of your bathroom now let's head to the bedroom and now we're up in the bedroom area guys this thing has uh the exact same size mattress everything up here is identical one thing i didn't show you was uh the shades up here it does have the blackouts uh, and the daytime shades too right there uh, on both sides the only difference in this bedroom than was in the other one is this tv on the wall against where the shower is so you could actually lay in bed here and watch that tv if you wanted to one more thing we just found on our way out is this big storage cabinet look at all that room in there i think that's where i'd put my shoes even though it does has have carpet in there <laughs> that's a good st shoe storage well that was the host mammoth you can see that the third slide does does give you quite a bit more 
floor space. Yeah. The price on that was? $120,200. Not cheap at all, guys. You can, but it does have more room. We're gonna take you next to what I think is my favorite of the three, and then we'll find out which one of those is his favorite. And now we're at Allison's favorite, guys. This one is the Yukon. It's the middle size between the first one and the second one we showed you. The reason we're out here this far away is I wanted you to see up on the very top. What you can see in the middle, that's the big, huge window in the bedroom. But on either side of that are two of your four solar panels. You have two in the front and two in the back. It, uh, this Yukon also came with the solar package, obviously, um, so you can get that with or without. Also, if we come along this side, the camping side, and we look down here, you'll be able to see uh, some standard equipment, which are your awning toppers. Like them or not, the, the host all come with slide toppers. And this one also has a really cool awning on uh, the camping side above the slide. And now for our final and my favorite truck camper of the day, the Host Yukon. Come on in once again, watch your step. <laughs> and we're starting once again in the kitchen. I'm just going to show you the differences. So right here on your right, as you enter the door, there is a nice coat closet. You could also use that for shoe storage or whatnot. And there's Unlike the Mammoth that had the biggest and bigger uh, storage here, this has a small little compartment here and it does have the exact same kitchen. You'll notice a different finish color of the wood. Uh, same appliances, all the same storage through here. The refrigerator, identical and identical storage on this side as well. One thing that it does not have is a storage cabinet right here. It does have privacy curtains and I think the other one did as well. And now let's go to the living area. Now this is why the Host Yukon is my favorite of the three models. You can see that this couch here is plenty of room. They do have a few different configurations as well. This one does not have to where you can kick your feet out. It does make into a bed, however. Um, you can order it to where it's theater style, style seating so that you will have the drink holders. But I just love the the length of this and one thing that made that possible is that they made the slide shorter they took out the window here and moved it over here now one feature about this um, that's the same except moved is the bunk bed is up here and it does uh, also uh, convert for st uh, storage space and then over here instead of your dinette in this model you do have a full wardrobe if you're a clothes or shoe person you have plenty of room in here there are storage drawers down below as well one on each side his and hers whatever and in you can also opt for this to be either a dinette or a washer dryer can you imagine having a washer and dryer to truck camper for me i would choose the dinette same exact uh, entertainment setup as the other the bathroom is identical to the um, Mammoth that you just saw and there is a little bit of a difference that Scott will show you in the bedroom. Now we're here in the bedroom guys. This bedroom is almost identical. The only difference is if you look all the way up there in front, you can see where the USBs are. There's also another 12 volt uh, plug-in in this one that was not in either of the other two. Another option that they have is one side, and for whatever reason it's this side, the non-camping side, you can have this wardrobe built all the way out to here. So they delete this window, but make this wardrobe like triple the size. And then it opens this way with a little tiny bit of storage on the top. Um, we haven't seen one of those uh, yet today. But I think we would rather have that big wardrobe style um, for all of our clothes. Even though we would have to share it, it's a lot better than just this little little bit here for each of us. Uh, there are, is room here for bins on the sides and stuff like that though. So not a game changer, I wouldn't say, or not a deal breaker, that is. 
Well, this was our third and final. Which one did you like best? I'm still sticking with the the Yukon I, because I love this room and that window over there. Um, I did not care for the wardrobe though. I would definitely have the dinette or an extra theater. You can also do the theater seat over there. Um, how about you? Which one did you like the most? As as equipped the way we saw them today, I like the Cascade better because I like the um, the the seats that have the kick out and they were towards the bed looking at the back door also the tv um and none of the other models that we saw today at least have the kick out um couches which i really like i think if you you had this one uh, this model, which is the Yukon, and it had the kick-out couch and the kick-out theater seating over there, that would be the ideal model uh, of all with, with the long uh, wardrobe slide. I think for me would be perfect. The price on this model is $114,400 here at Speedway RV. Thank you so much, Speedway, for letting us tour your host truck campers. And um, we want to go ahead and say, oh, one more thing. I really love, I just have to say, the three slides in the Yukon is so much better than the two slides in the Cascade for me, although it does add a lot of weight. And a lot of money. Yes, and a lot of money, <laughs> but I still, if I had to choose, it would be the Yukon for me. And now, thank you so much for sticking around. We're gonna share our weight loss totals with you. Ooh. This was 12 weeks on our program, and you can find out more information. Just contact us with the email right here. and. What was your 12-week weight loss total? I lost a little over three pounds on week 12 for a total of 29, I think, 0.4. And I've lost 35 pounds in 12 weeks, y'all, and I feel amazing. Now, um, we're going to put some pictures up so you can see some of that. And there will be um, a link in the description and in the comment below. I'll put more inf information. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know and if you like these RVs, which ones you choose, or if you'd even choose a truck camper. They have come a long way. <laughs> big, big differences than from you know, back when we were kids, uh, for sure, definitely. Well, if you're still here, thanks for sticking around, like, uh, like we said. And go ahead, if you haven't already, and subscribe to our channel. Leave us a like, which is a thumbs up, and a comment. We really like all the comments, and we, sh we respond to every single one. We really appreciate you guys watching. And as always, Semper Fi. And God bless. Hello, I'm Adrian. And I'm Ruth. And, and we, we are, are RV Life, Life with, with Adrian, Adrian and Ruth. Ruth. Join us next time on Jared and Ginger's Journey.